Here are Alistair's thoughts on that first half Spurs started the game brightly, the midfield trio of Oliver Skip, Rodrigo Bentancur and Yves Bissoma pressing all over the pitch and chances were created for Sun Hung Min on a number of occasions, Ryan Cezanne Yan and Harry Kane. However, everything changed with two poor moments from Hugo Lloris. The first saw him charge out to A through ball outside his box and he chested it before running into Callum Wilson. The loose ball fell to the striker who turned and chipped it back over the goalkeeper and Eric Dyer and into the empty net. VAR checked for a possible handball when it seemed like the Newcastle striker had put an arm to impede Luris' run. The Spurs captain looked shaky from then on and he sent a kick meant for Ryan Cezanne-Yan that was off target and it found its way to Miguel Almiron to run on and shoot under the keeper and into the net. Both Loris and Dyer continued to look nervous in possession, both misplacing passes out from the back, the latter at one point before the first goal powering a back pass inches past his own right hand post. After the booze rang out at the half-time whistle Dyer spent the walk back to the tunnel having his say to the officials but in truth his anger should have been turned inwards after a shaky first half when he was needed to lead the back line. Spurs have a big hill to climb in the second half after two mistakes and Condi will claim he doesn't have much on the bench to change things.